There is a lot going on in this video. Remember, you can pause it. Getting tricky with it, na 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 na. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to graph basic shapes of sine and cosine. And then we're gonna check them out. We're gonna shift them all about. Okay, I'm taking a look at this man. Um, the sine, A, in its um, preferred form, if you will, I got the number in front. Okay, that's gonna determine whether or not you're gonna flip it before you shift it. It's also gonna tell you the height or the usual deviation from the middle. That's called the amplitude. Okay, and then we're gonna have these parts in here. There's the coefficient to the x value. Ah, it controls the speed, if you will, and the length of the thing is called the period, the time it takes to repeat. The time it takes to repeat can be found by taking the usual period for the sign and dividing it by that scaling factor. So the period is 2 pi over b. Now what do we want to see? My post shift, my phase shift. Right, um, we use PS because you do it last. When we graph these guys, we're gonna flip it, we're gonna graph it, we're gonna label it, and then we'll shift it. Both side to side and up and down. The side to side shift, your phase shift, can be found by taking minus C over B, Okay, um, and your vertical shift, okay, okay. <laughs> and since we're here, let's get a nice tight shot of this. When we're graphing these things, we're gonna graph it, then we're gonna label it, and we're gonna label these five things. We're gonna label the amplitude, our A, okay, our period, half our period, half that, this one plus that, three-fourths our period. Okay, and on the cosine standard graph, it starts at positive A, and we're gonna label these five things. Our amplitude, our period, half our period, a fourth our period, this one plus that one, three fourths our period. Graph and trig functions, here's how you do it. You flip it, you sketch it, you label it, and you shift it. So let's graph a couple of these guys, man. Okay, let's get our characteristics. What's my amplitude gonna be? My amplitude here is gonna be three. Why? Because that's the number in front of the sign. What about my period? My period. My period is gonna be two pi over b. What's b here? Oh, we. I see it's gonna be one, so that's gonna be two pi. Okay. What other things can I get out of here? What's my vertical shift gonna be? Um, do I have anything added to this outside of this argument? No. My vertical shift is zero. What about my um? Phase shift, uh, minus C over B, there's also not gonna be any phase shift. So then we can go and graph this guy, man. So it starts at zero or starts at one? It starts at zero. You do this, one period, great. You label this, what is this? This is three, what is this? It's minus three, here we go, what's my period? It's gonna be two pi, what's half that? Pi, what's half that? Pi over two. Ooh, this one and that one, this is gonna be three pi, no, wait for it, wait for it, one, two, yes, that's gonna be three pi's over two, and you're done. That's the high point, the low point, the axes. Here I'm over here, the cosine man, let's get our characteristics. My amplitude is gonna be two. My, 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 my period is gonna be my two pi over my b. That's two pi over four, sure, so my new period is pi over two. Do I have a vertical shift? I don't, there's nothing added to it. Um, do I have a phase shift? No, because there's no augment, there's no addition in that argument. Okay, so no vertical shift, no phase shift. We got our period, we got our amplitude. Cosine starts at zero, starts at one. Starts at one, it's basic shape. Looks like this. Now let's label it. What's my new amplitude? Oh, I heard two, isn't it? New amplitude. Yes, two, and that makes that minus two. Okay, my period here, we found it to be pi over two. Pi over two, what's half a pi over two? That's pi over four. Ooh, half a pi over four is pi over eight. Great, this one plus that one? Mm, wait, two, three, three pi's over eight? Okay. I want to see another one. Okay, almost done. Second to last. Here we go. Oh, boy. Let's get our characteristics. Yes, our amplitude is going to be three. That's the number in front. Okay. Um, my period 
is 2 pi over b. Oh, wait, here we see our b gonna be 1, so my period is 2 pi. The usual. Mm hmm. My phase shift is minus c over b. Okay, that's the opposite of this. This is minus or minus pi divided by 1. So then my phase shift is gonna be pi. Okay, do I have a vertical shift? This time I do. Oh, it's gonna be down 3. Oh. Okay, ready, 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 I'm ready. Do I need to flip it? I don't, so I won't. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna sketch it, I use the usual sign. Oh wait, here we go. Wham, that's one period of the usual sign. Maybe I should make it a little bit nicer. Yeah, ooh, that didn't make it any nicer. I made it worse. Oh well, um. Yeah, so then I label it. This is going to be 3, and this is going to be minus 3, and then this is going to be 2 pi, and then half of that is going to be pi, and then half of that is going to be pi over 2, and then this one and that one is going to be 3 pi's over 2. Yes. Okay, so now I have these special points. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take those special points, and I'm going to shift it how far? To the right, pi. Okay, and down 3. Oh, wait. So this goes to the right, pi, and down, three. This goes to the right, pi, and down, three. Oh, wait. This goes to the right, pi, and down, three. Oh, wait. This one goes to the right, pi, and down, three. Oh, wait. And then this one goes to the right, pi, and down, three. Oh, wait. And then here we see this is gonna be connect the dots. La 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 la. Ha ha. My shifted graph where this should be three pi's over. Nuh uh. This should be, this should be right pi. This should be three pi. Okay. And then halfway in between there, that's five pi's over two. Yes. Great. Mm hmm. And then, of course, you can go more than one period. Okay, a more harder example. Oh, yes. You flip it, you sketch it, you label it, and you shift it. Here I got a flip, I got a stretch, and I got a shift. Let's find our um, characteristics. My amplitude is going to be the absolute value of the number in front minus 1, which is going to be 1. Okay, my period is going to be my usual period, 2 pi. Over my B, here it's two. Ooh, my period's not pi. Mm-hmm. My phase shift, oh boy. I have a C component this time, and I know that this is gonna be minus C over B. Uh-huh. Here we're gonna go to the left pi over two. Ooh, do I have a vertical shift? I do not, there's nothing added to it. There's no vertical shift. Using these characteristics, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna graph this using my four step process. Do I have to flip it? Yes. So I flip it and then the cosine looks like this guy. Okay, now I just sketched it. Now let's label it. Okay, my amplitude is one, so that's a one. And this is a, a one or minus one. Yes, my period gonna be pi. So then this is pi, mm-hmm. Then half of pi is pi over two, mm. And then this is pi over four. Sure, this one and that one, this is um, pi, three pi's over four. Okay, what did this do? This made some special points, five of them. And I'm gonna take those five special points and that's what I'm gonna shift. This says to the left, how far? Pi over two. So every single one of these needs to go right there. Mm-hmm. This one goes pi over two right there. And this one goes pi over two right there. And this one goes pi over two right there. Uh-huh. So then my new graph. Wait for it. That one goes pi over two right there. Mm-hmm. My new graph. goes like that. Hey, wait a minute. That looks awful bit like the sign. Mm-hmm. Um, this is just one period. Yes. I could keep on keeping on, huh? Yes. And then I do. I saw the sign. No, that's the cosine, isn't it? Oh, well. Wow.